Greetings, friends. Welcome to this gentle 30 minute practice. Come to a comfortable seat, hands in Jhana Mudra. Take 10 full breaths. Entering into your seat, rising up through the crown of your head, tuning into the rhythm of your breath and the rhythm of your heart. Go ahead and reach your arms forward, palms out. And begin to play with stretching a little further through one arm at a time. And try that side to side, reaching the hands overhead. Grounding deeper into the seat, expanding more and more open through the heart. Bring the hands back in front, palms out, lace the fingers, and the hands in through heart center and back out, wrapping the wrists, needing some loosening and release at the shoulders, one big breath holding in at the heart, then extend, switch the cross of the wrists, and again, float the hands in and out in and out in and hold big breath release your hands let's unfold the left leg and start to rock it out and in taking the right hand to the mat next to the right hip how delicious is this fall sun. I just had to record outside on this day. So I'm wearing some socks just to keep my feet warm. <laughs> Try to expand upon this movement. Really opening the hip, really working into the torso. And then create our mermaid seat twist to the right hand to the left hand to the right knee right hand behind you pull up tall through the low belly chest third eye center pushing the left hip forward a bit and you can come on out from the twist extend the left leg turn towards it at heart center reach left arm across to grab the inner edge of your left foot or calf fold forward and then open it to a side bend reaching the right arm up and the hand can be at the calf or even the inner knee or down at the foot We'll come back to center over the left knee and fold completely forward from the hips, round through the head and neck, taking a bow, taking in more breath, letting it out completely. So 
Rise up slowly when you're ready. And switch sides. So tuck the left leg back into the seat. Bring the right leg open. Roll back and forth on the sole of the foot, taking the knee out and in. Leaning onto the left fingertips and guiding the right knee with the right hand. You see how I play here into the torso, the back, dipping in the shoulders. Now set your mermaid seat here and twisting left so the right arm crosses over to the left knee. Left hand behind you, pressing into the fingertips or even bringing the left arm behind your back. Turning to open the left shoulder a bit more. Notice where the breath is coming out and extending the right leg now. Reaching the right hand to the inner right foot and then opening to a side bend, reaching the left arm past the ear, straight up, maybe working the shoulder, maybe turning your head a little side to side, releasing the neck, the jaw. Come tall, face the right foot and fold. This is a place you can bring a strap in if you like. Or simply rest the hands on the earth. And lift up and out through the head the heart and straddle seat opening both legs wide flow side to side alternating a little bend in the knees and then try to take this into more of a cyclic motion rounding through the front side and around the back keep rotating other direction reaching up reaching up gentle side bends Gentle seated twist again with the wide legs here and we're going to flow with the movement. Inhaling through center, turning to one side as we exhale, landing the fingertips of one hand in front, the other in back. Hold to one side, deepen the twist, really reach out through the opposite foot, toes to the sky. Maybe wrapping the back arm around the low back. Finding a deepening of the breath here. Take your time to unwind, reach up, forward fold. Extend the arms if you want to prop your head up on a block, feel free. Inhale tall again, twist to the other side.
pausing in the movement, deepening the breath throughout your practice. Explore a deeper twist here if you like. Back arm wraps around, front arm comes to the opposite hip crease. Unwind, inhaling up, forward folding again one last time, our final posture of this warm-up section. Round up the spine, drawing the knees into the chest. Back to a bound angle position. Sitting up tall, taking the head side to side. Hands to heart center. I hope you'll stick around for more. Into the working phase of this 30 minute practice. Remove your blanket from the mat if you still have it. We'll roll down onto the back body after a moment here of seated knee to chest pose. Hug the chest, knees to the chest, wrap the arms around them or hands behind the knees. Work with the neck a bit. I'm going to take the hands behind us, press the chest more open, grounding in the feet. You can stay seated, working with some cat-cow breaths. If you like, adding on here, pressing up into reverse table pose. Lifting the hips, keeping the knees lined up over the ankles, shoulders lined up over the wrists. Your head lifted up or be mindful about dropping it back, keeping the chin tucked down and in, lining it up with the upper back. Nice full belly breaths. Find your release down. And here, rolling down onto the back body. Press the hands to the hips, tilting the pelvis and tucking the pelvis. So feeling the arch and round of the spine. Maybe start to lift a little in the glutes as you tuck. Feeling that flattening of the lower back onto the ground. And conversely, feeling the space between the ground and your low back. Press up into a gentle bridge, lower down, arching, press up into bridge with more of that neutral spine, release down an arch, and finally let's hold in bridge pose. Engaging the back of the legs without too much gripping in the glutes. Chin to the chest, shoulder blades into each other. Expand the belly space. Expand the top line of the thighs. Lower down, take the feet wide. Enjoy windshield wipers side to side.
and walk the feet back in hip width. Tuck the hands in under the low back for a moment. Feel that space there. Bring the hands out, maintaining that space. Pull the right knee to the chest, grasping behind the knee with your hands, extending the left leg out, keeping the tailbone dropping down, keeping the spine long on the ground, chin to chest, throat is soft, pick up the heart and the shoulder blade as much as you can off the mat, engaging the core deep in the belly. Draw the belly button into the spine. Continue flexing the feet, extending strong through the left leg. Drop the upper back and, and head back down. Pulse the left leg towards the sky a few times, activating the deep intrinsic low belly muscles, and then hug it in to release. Rock a little side to side. And drop the feet back down. Recreate that gentle space at the low back. Maintain that connection as the left knee comes to the chest. Hug it in, lengthening the spine. Reach the right leg out. When you're ready, lift the head and the heart straight up towards the sky. The neck's not working, it's more the core. Lowering down in the upper body, pulse the right leg up a few times, continuing to hold the left. Hug both knees in, rock it side to side. Cross the ankles and round back up to seated, knees bent to the chest, reach the arms forward. A little more core fun here. <laughs> Come up to the toes, maybe lift one leg, maybe lift both. Navasana, boat pose. And if you can see here, I have my shark socks on. Appropriate for being down at the water. Though we're at a lake, not the sea. So nice, tall, neutral spine. Dig into your deep power. Maybe take it to a twist to the left for a breath or two. Come center. Twist it towards the camera. Make a funny face. Nice. Back to center. Keep balancing. You could even try bringing it into a floating bound angle pose. Back to boat. Drop it down, give yourself a big hug, letting go. Windshield wipers. Get the feet wide. Bring them back in and that same seated back bend here. If you like lifting once more into reverse table pose. Lots of back body engagement, lots of front body opening. Yoga always strength building as well as flexibility building, often at the same time. Drop it down gently. 
and find bound angle again hugging the heels in close to the sit bones grab the ankles lead with the heart allowing the elbows to gently press the inner calves and thighs out lengthen the heart more and more towards the toes Bring your head up at first and then rounding down to land in your seated forward fold. Find the breath. Deeper into the depths of your body. Find compassion deeper into the depths of your being. Coming up slow, take the hands behind you to open into a gentle seated back bend from bound angle. And finally, returning to Sukhasana to end our working section of this short practice. Stick around for winding down. So bring your seat back up onto the edge of a blanket, block behind you, supporting the sit bones on the edge of the blanket. Extend the left leg, hug the right knee into the chest while we're sitting up tall here. Hug the right elbow around the right knee. Drop your head to the left. Stretch the right side of the neck open. Roll to the other side, right ear to the right shoulder. Roll to center, lift the chin up. Left hand to the left shin. Pull your right hand across your low belly from left hip to right. Start the twist there. Your hand can come onto that block behind you or reach beyond it. Keeping us honest about sitting tall as we twist. Be mindful not to lean back. Beautiful. If you can, it's not straining to wrap the left elbow around the right knee. Turn deeper through the upper belly, the rib cage, the collarbone chin towards the right shoulder. Mindful extension out the left leg, flexing that foot. Time to unwind. Both legs extend. Pause in a forward fold. Head, heart up. Come back for the second side. Left knee to chest. Right leg extends, and seated sage right ear to the left shoulder. I'm sorry, right ear to the right shoulder. Then left to left. Bring the chin up. Wrap the right arm around the left leg, turning at the low belly first, guiding with the hand, and sending the left hand behind you on the block or earth. Find the even reach, steady extension. And take your time to unwind. Reach both legs forward. Grasp the calves 
ankles or feet. Lengthen into that forward fold. And bring yourself tall. Scoot the hips forward. Lowering down onto the back body once again. And start with the hands behind your head, elbows out to the side. And just kind of allow the upper back to open. Line up the feet under the knees. Then shift the hips to the left, take the knees right. And if you do like this arm position, you can certainly just extend the arms at shoulder height. I find a little more upper back opening here. Breathe and release. Come back through center. Shift the hips. A little more to the right as you drop the knees left. Allow the breath to continue filling and nourishing your body, your heart, and emptying your mind. Back to center, hug both knees to the chest. One last time. And grab the outer edges of the feet for happy baby pose. Releasing when you're ready here, bringing a block under the sacrum for supported bridge as part of our relaxation. If the block is too much, simply use a folded blanket. Remember, everything's an option. You can let the thighs and knees rest together, taking the feet a little wider, extend the arms. Gently beside the hips. Rest the head, the neck, the upper back completely. Starting to soften the pattern of the breath. Making our way back to simply a natural breath that occurs without effort. Without attention, except the sacred witnessing. Light, life force moving through you. Resting in the trueness of yourself. Remove your block when you're ready and take just another minute or two here. In Savasana and corpse pose, stretching the legs out, melting the entire body into the moment. The 
truth is, you are whole, complete, perfect. In your authenticity, a reflection of all creation, of God as you understand her, him, it, they. <laughs> so many paths, so much love to tap into in this crazy world. Begin to move the hands and feet and the knees up, roll to one side. Take a moment to pause there. And pressing up mindfully to Sukhasana one more time. Easy pose. Roll the head and neck around a few times. Take this peace you find in your practice. Roll it out into the world. Bowing forward. Namaste. The light in me sees and honors the light in you.